Earlier this month, 20-year-old Jonathan Duhamel won the World Series of Poker main event. He took home a whopping $8.9 million in the coveted championship race. That he is also the first Canadian to win the event. Jonathan joins us in studio. Looks like you were pretty happy there. Yeah, I was happy. <laughs> you know, I just realized, man, I just became the world champion of poker. So it's kind of nice. Yeah, I was very happy. Did you feel along in terms of the tournament? Did you feel at some point, wow, this is going my way? Or, or do you never feel that as you're going through the process? Uh, well, going into the final table, I had very lot of chips. You had you a know? lot of chips, Yeah, right? I was like the chip leader uh, with 15 players remaining. So I felt pretty confident about my game. And but your I, chips went down at one point, didn't they? Yeah, yeah. The start of the final table started, you know, pretty bad. But I just, you know, tried to keep my cool, keep my composure and, you know, think about the next the next and what's going on right I managed to uh, get some, uh, some chips back and uh, go go up again what's the hardest thing as you're going through this process and you're playing and it's a big tournament a lot of money at stake I mean what's the hardest thing well, I think it's kind of very important to keep, keep your focus I mean you don't want to you don't want to let your emotions go over that and it, you, you have to try to forget about the cameras about the crowd about everything and just play good poker make good decisions and you know make no mistakes how tough is that to do though Jonathan I mean have, do you do you recall any hand that you like you did lose your focus because of everything that's going on you lost it? Uh, I don't think so. I think I played quite well during the final table. I was so focused. I mean, I, I had a three months preparation uh, prior to the final table. So, I mean, I was very ready to go out there and, you know, to play the best I could. Yeah. All right. And take us back to kind of how you got to this point. You've been playing poker for about five years. Yes. Yeah. yeah, I played for five years and then I eventually... I so, 17? I was 18. 18. 17, 18. I eventually yeah. wanted to go play some online poker. So, that, at that time, I went to uh, PokerStars.net. I played for free there and, uh, you know, I practiced a lot and when I thought I was good enough, I put some money in the side and started playing for real money out there and uh, a couple of years later uh, here we are now <laughs> what were you doing before poker uh, well I was just a regular guy going to school playing a lot of hockey in Montreal you know because there's nothing else to do in Montreal <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty cold doesn't it yeah it is it is yeah. um, what are you going to do with the money? And I know some of it actually goes to charity, correct? Yeah, yeah the first thing I'm going to do is give uh, $100,000 to the Montreal Canadiens uh, Child Foundation. And those uh, were the guys we saw cheering yes. you on at the end, Well, right? yeah, just all of my friends had the uh, Montreal Canadiens jersey on. And I'm thinking just uh, we're all uh, Canadians uh, fans out there in Montreal. Right. And uh, then after that, I'm going to be traveling a lot, play at the big, big tournaments. Uh, you know, I want, to, I want to test myself against the best poker players in the world. Right. And the next stop is in uh, January at the Poker Stars uh, Caribbean Adventure in the Bahama, uh, Bahamas. You guys are Play in the coolest places, don't oh, you? Oh, yeah, it's a lot of fun. You're traveling, go to a different countries and play poker. You got to tell me about because you actually had, you know, you got you, everybody has to do a buy in for the event, right? You have to ante yeah. up, what is it, like $10,000 $10, or something? Yeah. Anybody who plays in the tournament. Yes. You had a friend who actually chipped in, what, I think about $100 or yeah. something? Well, it's, the guy's my best friend. You know, he's uh, begging me for almost a week, I'm going to give you 100 bucks and I want a percent of your of your main event. And I was saying, like, no, no. And finally, you know, he convinced me. So, you know, the guy's a very good friend of mine and he is, uh, you know, he's studying to become a high school teacher. So obviously doesn't have that much money, and now because of that uh, you know uh, is a hundred dollars uh, just became a ninety grand. So. so a nice little windfall for him. Yes, I think he's kind of happy about that. What are you gonna do with the rest of the money? You said you're giving you know some to charity at this point. Do you just sock it away, or are you gonna well, have some fun with it? I'll be traveling a lot. That's for sure. I mean, I, I want to travel the world. That's what I love doing. So I'll be uh, playing a lot of poker. But I'm gonna be visiting uh, countries and stuff like that at the same time. So. How to being good at poker is playing it over and over again. I mean, practice makes perfect. You know, is that true in terms yeah, of poker? Is. It's like any other sport. I mean, you got to practice if you want to become one of the best. I mean, in one given tournament, I mean, you need to have some luck. But over the long term, I mean, the best players are going to win right. like most of the time. So you need to practice a lot. You know, is there a point in the tournament? I mean, do you get a little nervous at some point? You know, along the process? Uh, well, yeah, you get nervous, but I mean, it's very important to just try to keep you cool and you you always think about the next and you know and to make no mistakes. That's the key part. Uh, out there, yeah. Do you have a goal with all of this? A goal? Become the best poker player in the world, I guess. Why and not? And keep and keep winning tournaments. Yeah, keep winning. I'm, uh, every tournament that goes in, uh, it's uh, in the optic that I want to win it all the time. So. Do you ever also think about you know writing a book or something and talking strategy? I mean, because uh, well, I mean, how much? Yeah. I mean, there is strategy in yeah. terms of poker. Yeah, there is. We'll see. I have a, a lot of projects. Uh, writing a book uh, is one of them. So I will see over a couple uh, weeks or years, uh, probably a couple of months. Let's say uh, books should come out. One thing I want to point out, and it's funny because we've been following this story going back a couple of months, and we noticed that in terms of the tournament some of the, the final round. So many people are pretty young. You're 23 years old. You've been playing it for five years. But we are noticing kind of a shift in terms of the trend. Yeah. What's going on with that? Why are we seeing kind of younger think, poker players? I think it's point? kind of the uh, online factor. Uh, the guys, I mean, for myself, when I play online on uh, Poker Stars, I play eight to ten tables at a time. So because of that, you, get a, you see a lot of hands and you get a lot more experience. So I think a lot of the kids are doing that. And, you know, they have a lot of experience. So even though they're young, they come into the tournament and they're very good poker players. So I think a lot of that, you know, comes into play. You, you mentioned you started out in terms of online poker. I mean, yeah. it's a good thing, you think? 
all well, the uh, online poker games that we're seeing? I think uh, as long as you, you keep in mind that it's a game. I mean, you're playing for the fun of it. Uh, as long as you keep that in mind, there's no problem, I think. All right, so what's next for you? You're gonna, you're, you said you're going to take some time off, you're going to do some uh, travel, and then you've got another maybe, turn. When's your next tournament? Uh, probably going to be the Poker Stars uh, Caribbean Adventure uh, on January in the uh, Bahamas. Probably going to be the next one. Maybe I'll go in. Uh, there's another Poker Stars one in Prague uh, in December. So if I have the time, I'll go there, that's for sure. I'm just going to be playing a lot of those tournaments. I'm having fun right now. So. Hey, listen, we know uh, Matt Miller, who's my co-anchor, he's not here today, but loves poker, plays yeah. it. I mean, what's your advice to all those people who play, you know, just for fun out there? Well, he plays for money, too. Well, I would say, you know, you got to bluff sometimes, but don't, don't bluff too much. Don't it? bluff too much? Don't bluff a little bit, but not too much. All right, some good advice. Jonathan, thank you so much. Good luck on everything. Thank good you. to have you here and here. Thanks. Jonathan, say your last name, because I, I mangled it. Duhamel. Duhamel. Okay, love it. <laughs> Jonathan, thanks so much. He is the winner of the World Series of Poker main event. All right.